Uh, I think Russia has set the table, and this is the kind of the game plan right now. So Saudi has come out and said, we're going to pump back up to 11 million barrels a day from its current 9.7. They're also offering these price discounts, about 20%. Um, what I would say is what's very clear is if you look at Russia, um, they do not consider indefinite production cuts to be a long-term viable strategy for their oil industry. Um, I think they need to see a structural shift in the supply side. That's the only way you move beyond this era of cuts. And U.S. shale, I would say, is firmly in the crosshair. So it's a bit of a freeway, I would say, as opposed to just the uh, KSA and Russia story. Tom, you mentioned U.S. shale. <clears throat> and does this collapse, does this crash in the oil price mean credit events amongst uh, high yield oil and gas? Look, um, the US shale sector is, is weak at the moment. I think Russia smells blood in that sector. So the last time the prices crashed back in 2016, we wiped out around 800,000 barrels a day of shale production, but that bounced back very quickly. So I think what Russia and now KSA are hoping is that we get a deeper cut. 800 won't be enough. They're probably looking at 1.52 million, hopefully, I would say, to offset what they were going to do with the production cuts. Um, hopefully they get that, but not just that that comes away from the market, but it stays away. So we will need to see greater levels of defaults and bankruptcies. But look, last year was uh, a huge amount of bankruptcies already in the sector, the most since 2016, 2017, and WTI was much higher. So there is weaknesses in that, in that sector right now. It's a monumental game of chicken in the meantime. Do we have to get to $20 a barrel before uh, they reach some commitment? Um, I would say this is, has to be a relatively short-term plan on the part of Saudi Arabia. Yes. Um, they have a fiscal break-even that is significantly higher. Last time we checked, it's on $83 a barrel. a barrel. Exactly, $83 a barrel, fiscal break-even. So, you look, if we can get that structural shift in supply, if we can wipe out 1.52 million barrels of shale production, um, yeah, they would probably be mission accomplished. I think obviously you need $30, $35 to probably really do that or to do that at an accelerated rate. Uh, huge debt fatigue in the US market, so it's not going to take much. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.